Good evening. The Robben Island Museum will mark this year as the year of the late former PAC leader Robert Sibukwe for his role and contribution in the struggle for liberation. 60 years ago, Subukwe was sent to Robben Island for an indefinite period. This after the apartheid government amended the law, which later became known as the Subukwe Clause. The PAC leader joins a generation of leaders who have been celebrated and honoured by the Robben Island Museum. These include late former President Nelson Mandela, struggle icons Walter Sisulu, Governor Mbeki and many others. This generation of leaders had, se had served decades on Robben Island, leading to their release between 1989 and 1990. This led to the negotiations between the apartheid regime and the former liberation movements, including the ANC. And for more on this now, we are joined by the chairperson of the Robben Island Museum Council, Professor Seth Cooper. Thank you so much uh, for joining us, uh, Professor Cooper. If you could just uh, give us a bit of more insight uh, when it comes to honouring the life of Robert Sibuque. Why Robert Sibuque this time around? Well, it was uh, 60 years ago that he was uh, banished to Robben Island, held without trial, and each year this was renewed. So he served six years in the custody of the police, not the prisons like the rest of us. We were detained and kept uh, after we were convicted of various political offenses. But Sobukwe was not charged. He was very feared by the apartheid state because he rose against the past laws and as we know the past laws is one of those ignominies in our history because it impacted every person of African origin when they turned 16 they had to carry a pass on them at all times this was during colonial the colonial period and it was made an article of faith during the apartheid era. Indeed, there are many farms, there are many industries that benefited from uh, the past law uh, labor because many persons convicted when they had no passes on them were shipped out as free labor to those uh, farms and industries all over the country. So one of the biggest uh, injustices done in this country and we haven't really come to terms with it is what the past laws have done to us and the ANC itself which uh, predated the PAC the PAC broke away from the ANC in about 1958 formed in 1959 and launched the past campaign on the 21st of March which led to Sharpeville and uh, other places and the massacres that resulted everybody was opposed to the past laws. So, Sobukwe, interestingly, we have no records of his voice. We have very few records uh, of he, him being uh, photographed in different places. And tomorrow we will unfurl the eventual house he lived in because that is of historic significance to all of us mm. in our history. Mm. And as we move into the 30th year of our democracy, it's appropriate that a significant figure like Robert Mangaliso Sobukwe is remembered for all that he has done to us famously. He said in his inaugural speech in 1959 at the Orlando Community Center where the PAC was launched <clears throat> that there is no uh, race but the human race. Mm. And he stood for that consistently all his life. Mm. Unfortunately, 45 years ago in February this year, he died. So there's that history uh, in Bali that we want to acknowledge, uh, lest we forget those who brought us here. And despite the doom and the gloom, despite everything else that we may be complaining about, we need to show some grace to those who sacrificed their all 
for what we have uh, what we have eventually enjoyed during our democracy and the Robben Island Museum wants to ensure that every epoch in our struggle is recognized right up to those who were incarcerated there in the 80s and the last one who got the last group that was released in 1991 we want to make sure that the lessons of Robben Island permeate all level a strata of society because we learned not to be bitter we learned to understand one another importantly ourselves and also to understand the oppressor the exploiter and that's why we haven't had bloodshed in our country none of us has uh turned against those who imprisoned us none of us has turned against those who tortured us and did all those terrible things so those lessons are important ones for us to recall and sobukwe stands out in the pantheon of leadership in our country mm. and professor cooper you also speak of the house um, that uh, um, robert sobukwe lived in and one would say that when you visit uh, robin island you could see that and you are told uh, that he actually lived and he was incarcerated on his own if you can just uh, tell our viewers um, when it comes to that history and why it was uh, you know done in that manner why was he not incarcerated with other prisoners on robin island well he was not convicted of anything and the apartheid system actually used to say to the red cross and other uh, media houses all over the world and foreign uh, visitors uh, to these shores that there's only one political prisoner uh, a sobukwe begrudgingly uh, denying the rest of us the status of political prisoners because in their eyes we committed uh, criminal acts uh, forget that they incarcerated all of us in the maximum security prison so what happened was the minister of justice was empowered to imprison um any person that he deemed a threat to uh, the society that they believed in and they kept and that was the apartheid uh, ignominy and uh, he was kept by he was guarded by policemen he was not in the custody of the prison's service initially it was a, a little shack that he was in and the reverend peter story bishop story uh, administered to him in those terrible years and eventually he was moved to the house that we will showcase tomorrow it's it's a robben island is is a very tenuous place it's a receding island and we have to be uh, sure that the people who pass through robben island don't damage the national heritage and the unesco world heritage site so tomorrow we will show uh, south africa and the world that house uh, every bus tour that comes to that of visitors from wherever they come pass that house they are told about uh, sobukwe and then they shown other parts of um the island including the notorious quarry and then taken to the maximum security prison where nelson mandela where those others that you have mentioned uh we've had three of the five presidents we've had three who served uh sentences on robben island mm. uh, president mandela it was president mutlante and uh, president zuma it's only two um, um becky whose father was on, uh, on the island and the current president uh, ramaphosa who have not been incarcerated on robben island so mm. there's a lot of history yes. but there's also the prehistoric period uh, before the colonial advent that is important for us in terms of our own human uh journeys and that is something that is also intriguing in bali for instance uh protoa the little uh, girl who was nine taken into jan van riebeck's house uh, household uh her project 
are well-known families in this country. And amongst those who can trace their DNA to Krotoa, uh, mm -hmm. the Koringwa uh, child who uh, was, was married off to Van Meerhof, this Van Meerhof wine farm. Amongst the uh, persons right. are Paul Kruger, uh, all right, and, and, and FWD Clerk. And Mr. Cooper, my, just my last, I'm trying to squeeze in my last question here. Do you think that it mm -hmm. is enough uh, being done to actually recognize uh, the legacy of uh, Robert Sibukwe? Well, I think that uh, by doing this, mm. we will begin to finally acknowledge and take it forward, just as there are other significant figures who have sacrificed for us. Many leaders throughout the ages during colonial times and many young people, especially uh, from the 70s, 76 into the 80s, have, have really paid uh, a, a tall price and we don't recognize them. We need to be gracious enough to acknowledge all those uh, pantheon of leadership who have given us a an opportunity to be more human and to be one against all adversity out there. After all, we're one human family. All right. Thank you very much. That is uh, Professor Seth Scoopers. He is indeed the chairperson of the Robben Island Museum, just giving us a bit of more insight when it comes to that launch. Uh, indeed, it will be launched tomorrow morning.